Hey everyone, welcome to another lecture. We're going to get going here. There's two uh, objectives we want to cover here today in this um, lecture. We're going to look at first why the leave no trace principles are so important. And we're going to understand the ba basic principles because we need to understand these before we prepare for our Pine Creek field trip, which will be discussed in detail in this lecture as well. So let's start with the leave no trace principles. These are the, it's the guidance though that tells us how to enjoy our natural world in a sustainable way that avoids human created impacts. So the keywords there are sustainable and preventing human created impacts. You know, things are gonna happen in nature, but our, our goal is to um, leave as little impact as possible. And there's seven of these guidelines, we're gonna go over them very quickly right now. So plan, and pre plan ahead and preparing is what you're essentially doing now. We're going to look at the weather here in a little bit. That's going to be expected of you before you come tomorrow. Um, we're, we're going to show you where to meet. We're going to decide what to wear, what, how much water to bring, and so on. So plan ahead and preparing is most important, which we're doing now. Traveling and camping on durable services. Those of you that have been out to Red Rock before know the trails are pretty well marked, and they are durable. You can see here the where the fork in the trail is. And again, it's pretty self-explanatory. We wanna do this for a variety of reasons. One is because the native vegetation in the desert is very sensitive to getting stepped on and it takes years to grow back given the lack of water. But then also those of us that have lived here well know there's certain animals that like to live under rocks or under bushes, you know, like scorpions and rattlesnakes. So we wanna stay on the trail as, as often as possible. Disposing of waste is important. You don't want to walk down the trail. We're all expecting a nice pristine area tomorrow. We don't want to turn the corner and just find trash. So you are expected, yes, bring snacks, bring a water bottle, things like that. But there are garbage cans at the parking um, lot at the, at the trailhead. So just plan on if you are going to have a snack on the trail to put that wrapper in your backpack in your pocket and let's throw it out the correct way in the garbage can. And this just gives you an idea, yes, this is in a marine environment, and it would be expected that in a desert climate, these things would last mu that much longer. So this gives you an idea if we were to leave something out there. Leaving what you find. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff we see tomorrow. We're going to go through a lot of different ecological zones, which you might find interesting. We're going to even have some water involved, hopefully. But let's just leave what we find. There's no reason to make our mark. Yes, bring your camera. You'll have your iPad. Take pictures. But other than that, we're just going to leave what we find. Minimizing campfires, more for your backpacking and camping. So just keep that in mind next time you're out doing that. Respecting wildlife is incredibly important. Uh, we've learned about the endangered desert tortoise. We understand there will probably be desert hare out there. Um, burrows, there's coyotes, we all know about scorpions and even rattlesnakes. So again, keep your distance. We don't want to go off the trail to maybe disturb these. And again, the segue to this is being considerate not just of the animals, but of the other visitors as well. You'll get the you'll see that most people go out into the places like Red Rock to get away from, you know, the city and to enjoy the uh, peacefulness that the nature has to provide. So we are a little bit of a larger group. So if we do see someone out there, we're just going to get off to the side, let them pass. It's also important to keep our voices low. Yes, you know, we're going to talk, we're going to want to point things out to each other. But remember, people are coming out here to observe and enjoy the tranquility. So and also being quiet will increase our chances of seeing wildlife. So keep that in mind. So those are your seven leave no trace principles. Again, make sure you keep these in mind as we go out to the Pine Creek Trail, which is the part of the Red Rock National Conservation Area. So the plan is we're gonna meet at Dunkin' Donuts. It's at Charleston there. To give you an idea of where this is at, Red Rock Casino is here. Here's the 215. Gorman is down here. So Charleston and the 215 is about right here. So you're gonna just gonna go west and there's a Dunkin' Donuts. There's a Smith's in here, or I wanna say an Albertsons. There's a grocery store, but um, there is the, address and again i have the address and a link to it on the website as well so make sure you're there before 8 a.m i'm going to take attendance we're going to make sure everyone's there and then we're going to move out of there and the key is we're going to carpool um there's a handful of you in this class i'm okay with um 
some of you driving, leaving your car at Dunkin' Donuts and driving through the loop with someone else and then um, getting back in your car after. It's just up to you. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to carpool. Like I said, we're going to caravan. We'll go into the loop. Those of you who've been in the loop before, it's a one-way scenic loop. And our trail happens to be at mile 11. It's a 13-mile loop, like I said. So a majority of our drive is going to be at the beginning, almost all the way till we exit the Pine Creek Trail. And we're going to get off on the right-hand side, and we'll get to the trailhead. There are bathrooms there. There's garbage cans. We'll get ready. We'll make sure um, we know what's expected we have a little activity there's a few stops as we go but to give you an idea we're going to walk about three and a half miles the elevation gain is minimal for most of the time we're actually walking downhill expect about two hours and again you saw a picture of the trail it's pretty durable and it is an out and back so if you want to check it out there's a bird and hike website that's pretty cool to give you a little more detail but this again the durable trail we're going to hike back and into this canyon off to the uh, right hand side of this photo here so some things to bring make sure you bring a backpack large enough to hold your ipad and make sure that ipad is charged and a water bottle i suggest 32 ounces it's expected to be warm we'll talk about the weather here but again and you should be hydrating the day before also so if you're watching this and you're planning on going out make sure you drink some water before you set out tomorrow Bring some snacks as well. We will have a time and some shade to take a break. It's always good to have something to eat uh, before we head back to the cars. Other thing, make sure this is downloaded. This Pine Creek Trail um, worksheet is downloaded into your iPad or your phone in Notability because you are going to need to make notes while you're out there. You're also going to need to take pictures. So again, your iPad and phone is uh, mandatory. What to wear, again, it's a desert climate, so make sure you check the weather and protect yourself from the sun um, and lots of sunscreen. Make sure you apply the sunscreen before, and if you bring it with you, make sure you apply it when we take breaks. Be sure to check the weather. It always changes this time of year, so just ex take a quick look at it. It's always smart to maybe uh, throw in your backpack a light jacket or a long sleeve T-shirt just in case you never know. So our agenda, again, we're going to be at Dunkin' Donuts before 8 a.m. You're going to be, again, responsible for your own transportation. I don't care if you carpool from there. You all should have had your permission slip signed and handed in by now. If not, you've heard from me. And, again, bring those essentials like the uh, water, the snacks, the sunscreen, the proper clothing, and, again, the iPad, and, again, most importantly, water. So that's it. We'll see you.